The public sale of the Funko Box of Fun happened just like we said it would. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas of gas. We're glad you're there, Si. You get the right time. We got an all time line. Couples, I toys, and chimes on mine. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell it all, we come together. Yes. Wait, who said what? Remember on yesterday's video when I said they were going to take the rest of the boxes and put them up for public consumption? You said that or I said that? I said that. Oh, so you deleted where I said that and we- you put, No! You put in no. where you said that so that you look good. Oh my god. I just realized it. You're lying, Barry and Heather! Everything that you say is lies! No, you're a f***ing liar, Chris. Don't do this. Look! You're really f***ing hot okay you don't have to do that do what what you just did what did i do uh, i don't like lying heather at all real heather didn't have bangs real heather has bangs real heather got a haircut this is not lying heather this is real heather so no stop. this is lying heather okay chris there she is what are you talking about you just moved your bang out of the way now i recognize they're you. still there oh lying heather's back so yes, of course, I deserve all the praise. So if you want to take a few minutes to comment down below about how great I am, that would be great right now. I'd really appreciate it. I'm reading them right now, by the way. I just want you to know. You're looking at me right now, but I'm actually reading all of the comments. And I just want, hey, that's a good one, by the way. I like what you're saying. You're awesome. Okay, that's enough great comments. Heather, what did you think about the public drop of the box of fun? I thought it was f***ing bull and I think that only winners should have gotten the box of fun. I'm selling my box of fun because I'm so mad. Okay, I'm getting really tired of lying, Heather. I really like that they put up the box of fun for the general public because what else were they going to do? Just burn them? Throw them into a fire and burn them? Would they bill burn them? Who's that? So you had two factions of people today. You had the one faction saying, I won the lottery. It isn't special anymore because these are being sold to the public. And then you had the other side, the lotto losers. Wow, this is awesome. I get the opportunity to buy a box of fun when I didn't have the chance before. And then you had another side which said, well, I had the opportunity, but I was too slow and I hate everything. By the way, right now they're burning their whole collection. So if you smell fire, it's people burning their vinyls. No, seriously, if you smell fire, call the fire department. All right, so the question of the day, should they have gone up for public consumption today on Funko.com? And the answer is yes, because a lot of people won the lottery, but they decided not to purchase the box due to the high price tag. Funko thought that this box of fun would go super fast, and everybody who won, they suspected that more people would want this box. That crash and burned big time. So they had a plan B, and that was putting it up for public consumption on Funko.com. And it's fantastic, because I saw more people who lost the lotto that wanted them than people who won that did want them. So this all worked out for the best. And if you're salty because somebody now had the opportunity to buy this box when you won the lottery, I don't know. I mean, I mean really, the only thing you could say is I okay. probably should calm down a little bit. you! I didn't mean to do that. It's okay. So let's talk about all the ways that Funko could have done this. They could have done a blind drop, which they have done in the past, and then people would complain that it was a blind drop. They could have done a lottery, which they did, and people would have complained that it was a lottery and they didn't win. Or they could have announced it ahead of time, and then the site would get overrun at that exact time because it wasn't a lottery and the website is experiencing too much traffic, and then it lags and lags and nobody gets a box of fun and it's a whole disaster. Truthfully, Funko had no other option. They're a publicly traded company. They have to make their money. That's what a lot of people misunderstand in all this. Funko is a company, and they're not going to do everything the way that you want them to do it. I think the lottery was a perfect way of doing it because it completely left it up to chance and when you complain to Funko they could say well sorry it was a lottery a robot chose the winners the bottom line is you're not going to please everybody but I think that the people who were able to go out and buy them today not being lottery winners was fantastic because one people got what they wanted and two Funko got that dough baby if I had real money I'd be so doing that
Can we just talk about the complaint for a second that winners were upset that losers got the chance at a box saying that it made the box not special? Yeah, it's because people want to feel special. And then when that specialness is taken away, see a lot of people in the Funko community just love to run around and puff out their chest. And what? Flexor! <laughs> I would say 50% of the Funko, nay, 75% of the Funko community are people running around and flexing the f out of whatever they won or whatever they've gotten. And we've seen that big time with the Black Light Venom. Oh my goodness, that's like the most recent one so far. That and Alice Pops, but the Alice Pops aren't as crazy as Venom just yet. Yeah. But seriously, those people who are acting like sore losers even though they won the lottery and got their box of fun are so ridiculous. The whole argument of winners saying, oh, well, it's not special anymore is garbage because there was 20,000 boxes of fun before the winners were even chosen and 20,000 boxes of fun weren't sold yesterday. So they had to sell the leftovers. There's still 20,000 boxes of fun. That doesn't change anything. They're not going and manufacturing 20,000 more just because they felt bad for losers. They're just selling the things that the winners who won the lottery didn't want. This actually brings us to a comment that we found today. And we got a bunch of comments, by the way, so you're gonna wanna stick around for those. But this comment says, lottery winners, colon, I'll just sit back and relax and watch the chaos happen. Exactly. That's the one good thing that lotto winners had. They didn't have to worry about going to Funko.com today and trying to get a box. There were a lot of people, even after the box was posted, that did not get a box still. They didn't have a chance during the lotto because they didn't win. They didn't have a chance today because they sold out on Funko.com. So now it leaves those people without a box at all. Those are the people that I feel for because when you hear a box of fun, who doesn't want to have fun? I don't want to just have fun. I want to have an entire box full of fun. Now, that is definitely not something that lying Heather would say. And you got bangs, too. Just kind of confused on which one I'm dealing with right now. It's just okay. me. It's regular me. Oh, good. Before we keep going, head over to patreon.com slash gasofcast to find out all the ways that you can support the channel and win big things through all these awesome perks that we offer. We do giveaways during our live Google Meet Chats that we do every single month on a random Saturday. And in this giveaway, we're going to be giving away Black Light Eddie Brock, Zartan Chase, and something super special, Geeky Tiki's Limited Edition Mandalorian and Baby Yoda. These guys are awesome and you could only get them from the Star Wars Celebration webpage. So check out all the awesome items that you can win and possibly more during the live Google Meet chat. Head over to patreon.com slash gascast to find out more. We grabbed a bunch of comments to read off to you from salty people all over the interwebs. In fact, they're not actually all from salty people. We actually have some pretty good comments mixed in. The first one sounds like somebody who is salty. I'm not real sure. Am I the only one that's not excited about this? Question mark, LOL. Okay, so truthfully, I don't understand how somebody could not be excited about this because it's going to feature three random Freddies in the box. Well, that's probably someone who got into Pops with like the black light craze. Like, I don't think there's going to be any black light Freddies. Mm, you never know. Bullshit sold out immediately. Okay, so it didn't sell out immediately. It was up for a couple minutes. Just a couple minutes though. Funko 4 sold out at 12.01. Proto Punk sold out at 12.03 and Rangers sold out at 12.04. Thank you Tino Maldonado for posting that. We really appreciate you. Somebody says not even worth $100 in my opinion. Won the raffle and can care less. I, I mean, that's crap. Uh, to say something like that, right? There are people out there who would have really liked this. That's why the lotto might have been a bad idea. But they were opting into the lottery and they knew it was a box of fun. Granted, they didn't know the items that would be in it. And they didn't know still, the price and that's the big part. That is, but still, people like that, I feel, were gonna say no anyway. Like that's just a jerk move to take a lottery spot and not use it. All the unwanted leftovers laugh emoji. 19,900 people got chosen for the lottery. And as far as we know, they put up 19,900 boxes. Every single person who won the lottery was entitled to a box. So I wouldn't even call it unwanted leftovers. I mean, yeah, technically maybe that's what it is, but maybe some people couldn't afford it. Maybe some people saw it and said, hey, it's not worth my money like the guy before this. Maybe they just didn't know what they were entering and when they found out what it could be, they were like, eh, pass. Went to finish my payment. They were processing my order. Boom, out of stock. Sounds right. So I actually noticed today the Rangers was still available. 
and I was keeping my eye on it to see what was going on. So I clicked Rangers and I went to add to cart and in the middle of add to cart, it literally took me back to the website. Oh. So it was like, it just sh shut the door on me. And I bet it did that to a lot of people that or it sold out in that moment. And everybody who was like in the queue was just sent out. Unbelievable. My link didn't work yesterday. Funko didn't reply to my emails asking for help. And this morning, all boxes were already sold out. How the heck could they all be sold out? It only sent emails to those who were chosen, question mark, question mark. Okay, that's the person cursing. Sorry. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, Funko's not going to reply to your email in less than 24 hours, number one. Number two, the general public was allowed to buy it today. BS. I won yesterday and it didn't work. And now I missed a public drop? So people won yesterday and it didn't work? That's two people in a row. They probably entered the password funny or they uh, just missed the time. Had Rangers in my cart because that's all that was left and it had me waiting in line to check out. Then all of a sudden goes to a page saying Funko.com will return. This is the same thing that happened to me. Like damn, not even go to checkout. And it says sold out, just skip me all the way to the home page. Well, it's, it's sold out. Should have been faster. Website crashed right when I was trying to pay. Then it sold out before I could check out again. Shake my head, get your website together at Original Funko. There probably weren't that many that went up and you should feel grateful that you even had the chance. Right? People are so entitled. Ugh. $100, too steep for me. Pops don't look that amazing to shell out that much cash in my opinion. Grats to whoever won. What are you talking about? They're, they haven't even shown the photos of the Funko Pops. Like we've seen these weird like previews or leaks, but they haven't actually shown what you're gonna win. No, not at all. So what are they talking about? I know, I think that some people don't even realize what's supposed to be coming in the box. In the box, you get seven Funko Pops. That's pretty good for a hundred bucks. Yeah. What was the point of the lottery? Point of the lottery was to try to make things as fair as possible, as I mentioned earlier, so people didn't go and complain to Funko. Funko could just say it's completely random. Like, I think that was the whole point of all of this. But because people didn't buy all the Funko Pops or all the boxes, so Funko decided let's put them up for sale on Funko.com. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, this just, this is all the right thing to do. What was Funko going to do? Sit on a huge pile, a box of funds? Like, what are people thinking? These are the same people that are asking that question that are going to be so thrilled if they lose the FunCon lottery, but they get the pops they want the next day because of leftovers. The lottery just allows you to go in with no major website issues, hopefully. Right. The leftovers are just that, leftovers. I consider everybody very lucky whether you win and get an uninterrupted, for the most part, spot in the lottery, or you lose and you at least get a chance the next day. Totally agree, Heather. I won and bought Team Fury. The lottery did mean something. It literally meant first dibs on the product, just like FunCon exclusives on the shop. Non-winners get the leftovers. It would have sold out if buyers knew what the mystery pops were gonna be. Lastly, at $100, for seven pops, that's a steal in my opinion. Totally agree. This person gets it. That person said what I just said. Exactly. And they said it better. They really did. Fun Day Boxes was meh. And most Freddy Pops don't hold their value. Easy pass for me. just one comment because I thought it was hilarious. Flippers be crying right now. That is That's the dumbest awesome. shit I ever heard. You want to know why flippers are not crying right now? That's because awesome. there was 20,000 boxes to start and there's 20,000 boxes still. So what, what are flippers crying about? <laughs> the general public had a chance to get these boxes but I know so many people who missed out on this release because it was like so few boxes. That was the greatest comment of the night. So all in all, today was an absolute great day. It gave the opportunity to people who did not win the lottery to get this awesome box. And when these guys finally drop, the people who did not buy the box might be kicking themselves in the butt. I'm talking to you lotto winners who didn't use the voucher. Especially the ones that called it stupid. I hope Funko packs in Freddy's that those people specifically really, really, really want just to 
kick them where it hurts. They did make 20,000 boxes. So expect there to be a lot of common looking Funko Pops rolling around, a lot of trades being made, and some of those rarities mixed up inside. And let's hope that we all get something super cool in this box. At the end of every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons on Patreon. In this video, we like to shout out to Shane Toner, Nikki Papadop, Bob Eight Donut, Rodrigo E, Kevin Tunenberg, Darth Stevie, Marky Tony, Funko Fan 626, Naisha McGinnis, and Freaky Funko. Thank you all so much for your support, and thank you to all of our patrons. You all are awesome. Did you guys hear the news? 7 com will have a new signature series from Johnny Depp. It'll happen on the 31st of July at 3 p.m. Eastern. You're not going to want to miss out. Head over to 7 com. That is this Saturday. All right, it's that time again. Remember, as always, we're all together, guys. We'll catch you next time. Bye.